Hello there guys, welcome to this brand new video today where we are looking at the best tactics on Championship Manager 0102. Uh, I hope you find this useful uh, in terms of what I do personally on this game, but you know, you can obviously leave a comment below about your tips and tricks that you use. Just before I start this video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, it does help a lot um, and it will always be useful for me obviously in the future of growing this channel. So let's, without further ado, let's get on with it. So then, my preferred tactic, if you just go to the top here, set to default, right at the bottom, 4-1-3-2. Um, now, this depends me. I normally take this guy off and sort of leave him in a central role, but it really does not matter. He can always push forward as well. Um, now, the reason why I like this is because your wingers can still play within this, especially your attacking midfielders. So it always gives them that. I mean, when I played with Manchester United, I was able to put, you know, gigs and gigs going up, skulls going up, and you know, Beckham could still go up, even though he wasn't necessarily an attacking midfielder. And it also leaves that defensive midfield role, which is incredibly important to any team on this game, in my opinion. It leaves the back four the same with the with the two fullbacks pushing on, and it's you've got your two strikers like you would normally have. Um, so just very quickly, I'm going to fill this in as Arsenal. <clears throat> Obviously, it works quite well because I've got Ashley Cole, Lauren there. You've got Sol Campbell, Tony Adams. Defensive midfield is perfect with Patrick Vieira. That works well. Now, in terms of what I was saying before, uh, Jungberg I'd put on the left of the midfield centre, Perez on the right. Uh, that would then leave someone in the centre. It could be Ray Parler, it could be Van Bronckhurst. It's up to you, really, uh, what you go for here. I'm going to put Parler just for the sake of it. And then, obviously, Henri and Burkapp. Burkamp up front so eventually it would look something like this and if you look at that team there that is it just looks unstoppable doesn't it um, and that's what I like about this is the fact that you know you have that defensive midfielder and the reason why I've picked Arsenal is because I don't think there's anyone better on the game in terms of defensive midfielder than Patrick Vieira as you can see he's already wanted by Barcelona there um, in terms of the team instructions going down I think everybody does this in terms of uh, Championship Manager 0102 players. Um, they always seem to go for mentalities attacking. Passing, I prefer short. Tackling, and this is something that I've learned from CMO 0102 players, always keep it as hard. Pressing, yes. Offside trap, no. Counter-attack, yes. And that's pretty much it. Men behind the ball, no. And I would leave this like that. Obviously, you're going to fill in <coughs> your your little areas of hit here about who's going to take the free kicks and whatever, who's going to take the corners and your playmaker. But that's something that you'd add into your own team over time. That's not difficult, you know. That's down to you looking at the stats of the players and deciding who is good at set pieces, you know, who's got that flair in order to be the, um, the playmaker within your squad. So that's my tactics in terms of, of what I would suggest in terms of setup, in terms of team instructions. Penalty takers, again, it's down to you to decide. It depends on your team completely what you go for there. Um, but that is the, the, the formation that I go for. Now, every so often, I might decide to, to change things up. So say, for example, if I was Arsenal and I was going to uh, the new camp, let's say, in the Champions League, I probably would mix this up in terms of possibly taking that striker and maybe putting him down here as an attacking mid this then changes that completely to give uh, another sense of um another sense of formation for these guys so i might decide to say right uh, let's get van bronckhorst in there and then we put perez as that attacking mid and then <clears throat> we swap those around it gives it that that other dimension really where it's not too forward but you still have that attacking threat because you've got the counter attack that we said before on here um so that's it really that is my is my tips if you if you if you like them please leave a comment obviously if you have your own which i'm sure you all do please remember to leave a comment like I said uh, before please remember to hit that subscribe button it helps a lot on this channel um and yeah i'm going to see you guys later